Hi there, my name is Sam with the events calendar and in this video I'm going to cover how to set up e-commerce. So first I'll go over how to set up e-commerce with just the events tickets plugin. So I have that installed and activated and I go to tickets and settings. And then here I click on the payments tab and then all I do is toggle enable tickets commerce, and click save changes. And then from here, I can choose to connect either Stripe or PayPal. Um, and then there's other options too, and we have other guides to help you get set up with that. So the next option is to have both Events Tickets Plus and Events Tickets installed and activated. And then that will allow you to utilize more robust ticket management uh, e-commerce platforms such as WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads. So to make sure that you have WooCommerce set up as you would like it, then you would go to the WooCommerce and settings and then go to the payments tab. And then you want to make sure that you have at least one payment option set up here. Um, so the simplest way to test things is to just toggle the check payments. Um, which is what I have here for this test site. Okay, uh, the next thing that we want to do is double check that our, we have our pages set up for WooCommerce. So we just go to our pages tab here in the WordPress admin, and we can see that there is the cart checkout pages. Uh, so that looks good that we have that set up. Okay, next we're going to make sure that our tickets are plugged into the WooCommerce uh, integration. So we go to tickets and settings and then the integrations tab and then you'll just want to double check all these settings are set up to how you like them. And again we have another uh, separate guide on how to make sure that this is configured how you like it. Okay so the next thing is to check out the stock management settings. So for that we're going to go back to WooCommerce settings. And we're going to go to products and inventory. So this will allow us to set some limits on um, the tickets, how many tickets can be sold and things of that nature. Okay, and then finally, we are able to set some descriptive text to our um, different tickets. Okay, so to do that, you have to have the setting under WooCommerce settings general selected to enable tax rate and calculations, and then make sure that you have that checked, and then you hit save at the bottom, and then there will be this tab for tax, and then within there, you can set different parameters for how you want your taxes to be calculated and added to the tickets that you create. Okay, the last option that I'm going to cover is easy digital, easy digital downloads. So once again, I have events tickets plus and events tickets both activated, installed and activated. And then I installed and activated easy digital downloads. And to get that set up, we go to the downloads tab and then settings. And then you're going to want to make sure under the payments tab that you have at least one of these payment options set up. And then just like with WooCommerce, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that your pages are set up properly. So for that, you go to the general tab and then this pages option, and then just double check that all of these uh, different pages are set up as you would like them. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and <laughs> goodbye.